feel like it's maybe gonna be. Yeah. I feel like it's gonna be too loud to film here and possibly too windy, but um, I wanted to, so we're gonna try. I'm gonna preface this by saying that I am a deeply dramatic person. And so all of this is going to sound overly dramatic, but that's just sort of the way of it. But I guess I was already feeling in some ways sort of the walls of this space closing in. Like I feel like I've just started making enough videos that I'm starting to have a sense of what that's supposed to look like or what that should look like. And so then I was starting to feel like I should keep doing that thing that I was figuring out how to do um, instead of doing what I wanted to do. Although most of the time those are the same. And again, I've made like 15 videos. So, all of the grackles are attempting to mate. So that's gonna be a theme as well. But I guess I've been thinking a lot about um, this moment, right? As I'm sure that we all are. And my response to this moment and my privilege in this moment, because for a variety of reasons, on like a personal level, I am not nearly as impacted as a lot of people are, right? And I mean, I think that we are in a place where we're talking a lot about both the pandemic and everything as this great equalizer and as this way in which it's very clear the way that things are not at all equal because it's true that everyone is experiencing this, but the as with most forms of crisis, right, levels of privilege and levels of access and all of these things are sort of spiraling out in ways that mean that everyone's experiences, everyone is having an experience, right, but those are radically different. And for my personal life, things are certainly very stable, but also aren't all that different. Like my concerns about my family, for example, are not really that different than the concerns that I have about my family all of the time. So there are like things in my personal life that I'm worried about, but they are the things I would be worried about anyway. And so what that means, right, is that in some ways, and all of this could change, but this does feel like sort of an opening up of time for me to attempt to do work and to try different things. And that is an opportunity and is one that I want to take advantage of. But it also feels a little bit complicated and a little bit almost callous. In particular, I think, because I am a person that is in, very in touch with my feelings and like what I am thinking and what I am feeling. and. I talk about most of my thoughts a lot, so I wouldn't say that I'm a particularly private person, but I do have a tendency to be private with vulnerability. And while like I hope to be kind and empathetic and like open and particularly with people that are close to me, I also like I tend not to do the public vulnerability thing a lot and I tend not to create public spaces for that either, which I'm thinking about both in terms of the work of a lot of creators that I see, right, who are speaking to this moment in a really kind and thoughtful way that I feel like is really needed. And then I'm also thinking about it in terms of my teaching as well. Um, and one of the lovely things about being a secondary educator, right, is that my students don't have one teacher, they have a whole bunch. And obviously they also have other adults in their lives. Um, and so one thing that I think very strongly, right, is that the self that I need to bring to the classroom is myself and that I will not be all things to all kids and that that is in and of itself kind of valuable. So I know that I'm not going to be providing certain of those spaces and I am okay with that and I think that, right, there are also people in my life, whether that is like online or in person, that are not speaking really actively about this. And I think that that is important too, right? Because we need a variety of spaces 
um, and a variety of things. So yeah, my impulse is not to talk about those things a lot. And to be honest, to my experience, both in the fact that, right, I still have my job, I am gonna have to move in about a month and a half, but I know where I'm going, that most of my fears for people in my personal life are fears or concerns that were already there. Um, and so what that means is that the thing that for me that has changed is this like large external space, which is important, right? And the danger and the fear, as well as right the courage and the sacrifice and all of the things that are happening right now are important and those are important things for me to be engaged in as a person and as a citizen, but they aren't things that I want to talk about in a lot of different spaces. I think that for where I am right now and the person that I am right now, that is the right choice. But also, it felt almost callous to do that without acknowledging it. Which is not to say that it is that for everyone, but that was what it felt like for me. So I guess this is me acknowledging, not the silence, because I mean, obviously I'm talking about it here and I do but acknowledging that choice um, and that space. And I do think that this is me processing both like, what do I wanna do with this channel and what am I doing in my classroom and what am I doing just as a human person in the world. So I just, I wanted to say that. And I'm not entirely sure what that was, but I guess it's just, mostly a reminder for me or an assertion that it is okay for us to be bringing different things to this time and bringing different modes of being, I guess. I don't really have a way to end this, so I'm just gonna stop talking, I think. But yeah, that's where I am in this moment as we're about to start distance learning and camp is about to start um, and all of those things. So yeah, take care of yourself, take care of each other, and things will continue to move forward.